In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace this lower grille on this Toyota Corolla. Let's get into it. Now we're going to remove the grille. Start by taking this 10 millimeter bolt out. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Take these push pins out and just use a push pin removal tool or a trim tool. Pop those out. Then from the back side, there is some clips holding this in. You gotta pop those clips up. Might even wanna use a trim tool in the front here. Just pry up so that you can unclip those. You can see all these clips. So from the front, if you're using the trim tool, you can push those down, pop those out. Now there's three pins right here. You want to take those out. Just use a trim tool or a push pin tool. Take those out. Take the other two out. Take this lower shield off. We're going to use a 10 millimeter socket. Take all these bolts out. straight blade screwdriver, just pop these clips out. And it slides down and just slide it out. Take this screw out right here, use a 10 millimeter socket. You don't have to take those out, just leave those in. Just to make this tip down a little bit easier, we're just gonna take this pin out, this push pin. Just use a trim tool. You can pull this down and set it aside. And if your vehicle has fog lights, you want to disconnect those. Just pop those out. Disconnect the connector, do the same on the other side. There's a plastic push pin right here. I'm just gonna use a trim tool. I'm just gonna pull this out. Just like that. Make sure that's separated from the inner fender well. Slide that off. Just like that. Just using a punch to just punch out the center. And using a trim tool. Pop out the rivet. You want to grab the bumper and just pull like that. You want to grab it firmly. Uh, it may be a little bit trickier than this one. Then you're going to do the same on the other side. And just grab the front of the bumper and it slides right off. On the back side of the bumper, we're going to take the grill out. Use a Phillips head screwdriver. Take these screws out. Same on the other side. Should be one more, but that's missing. And all the clips, you want to use some needle nose pliers. And just move the clips so you can push the grill outwards. And it slides right out. And line the grill up. And just snap it in place. Oh, make sure it all lines up. All right, that's all snapped in place. I'm gonna tighten these down. And one more.
more goes right there. Now I take the bumper and line it up. Should get, make sure everything's lined up on the side. And do the same on the other side. And we're going to put these push pins in, secure those down. Lock those down, those are secure. And now on this side, I'm just going to use a push pin. I don't have a rivet. If you had a rivet, a plastic rivet, you can use that if that's what you had in there. I'll just get this lined up first. Oops. Just give it a little tap, get it in there. And put the centerpiece in. Tap that in place. The inner fender well. Get that lined up. And put this pin in. And push that in. It's good, you can lock it down. Twist that down. Do the same on the other side. If you have fog lights, you want to plug those in. Now before we tighten these down, put these shields up. You can lock that in place and get all the screws started. Snug those down, and push pin's gonna go right here. And push one on the other side. I take the grill and line it up. At the base, you want everything to clip in, so you might have to push from the back. Sure it's all lined up. Put the push pins in, lock it down. Line this bolt up and tighten this down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.